what is up my fitties happy labor day weekend um so like i said in part one of how to track your macros vlog i would be doing a part two um on setting up my fitness pal so this is just a little tutorial on how to set up the my fitness pal app for tracking your macros um this is essentially my macro tracking bible i use it all the time every single day I probably log on more than any other app and I have my clients use it as well. Um, so I highly recommend it. They do have a premium version, which I think is amazing for macro tracking. Um, it is pretty inexpensive and totally worth it. So if you've never used this app before, they do have a free trial version. I think it's like a month. Um, so go ahead and give it a try. Um, the free version is great too, you just can't do as many cool things as you can in the premium version. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be looking at these notes a lot because I literally took step-by-step -step <laughs> notes for you guys on how to set it up. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and get your phone out and I will just walk you through step-by-step -step how to do this. The first thing you want to do after you download MyFitnessPal is create a login. Shocker. The second thing is you want to set your macro numbers. But first, you know, you want to go ahead and set up the profile. So and put your height and gender. Um, so to set your macro numbers, you want to click on goals where it says... You know, your current weight, your goal weight, your weekly goal, and your activity level. And you want to fill all those things out. Um, and then select the calorie, carbs, protein, and fats goal to customize your daily goals. You can go ahead and click on any of the macros, um, carbohydrates, protein, or fats, and a pop-up screen will appear. There is a choice. You can select grams or percentages. Definitely select grams because it's way more accurate and can consistent than tracking your macros and percentages. Like, I don't know why that would even be an option, but it is. So, select grams in the upper right hand corner and adjust your macros to whatever your macro numbers are. Um, so you want to set your fat macros in grams, your protein macros in grams, and your carbs macros in grams. This is very important, so listen up. There is a check mark in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Make sure you click that check mark because it will not save. So click the check mark whenever you see it, just click away. So once you've clicked the check mark, your settings are saved. Then you will notice where it says set daily goals. Create custom goals for different days of the week. This is located at the bottom of your screen. If you are on a nutrition plan that has like carb cycling, a refeed, refeeds, um, a cheat meal, you will love this feature because it's life changing. Um, these days that are going to be, you know, different than your normal macro days, like whenever you have your refeeds or the day of your cheat meal or like your high carb days, you can go ahead and click on those days here um, and then you can set your macros for just those days so it, you don't have to go back every single day of the week or whatever days of the week and keep adjusting your macros because it gets really annoying and sometimes you just forget to adjust them so this is a great feature um, you just wanna adjust your goals just like you did before for these days and make sure you save them then you wanna click and the back arrow on the bottom left hand corner until you're back onto the more page which is located in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You can set your meal alarms using the reminders tab here which is very important and highly recommended. Um, I set my meal alarms on this app and on my actual phone alarms because when the day gets hectic you forget when you last ate and here's mine right now. <laughs> when you last ate and when it's time to eat again. So I highly recommend you setting these meal alarms. Um, 
I personally eat five to six meals a day and I have all my clients eat five to six meals a day. So I'm eating every two to three hours, which means it is easy for me to forget when I last eat. So meal alarms are critical. Um, next, you can click on the settings tab. It's found near the bottom right hand corner of the more page. Um, click on diary settings. Turn on every single tab. So all of the tabs on the right hand side are turned to the green. <clears throat> Next, you can click on customize meal names. Um, I think they automatically come as breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I name mine meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, meal six, just because that's easier for me, but you can set your meal names to whatever you prefer. Um, so you can do that here. Make sure, again, you click the check mark in the upper right hand corner because they do not save a lot of time. Once you have um, renamed your meal names, you can go back to the diary settings dashboard and click on the customized nutrient dashboard tab and select macronutrient focus instead of like calorie focused because we're counting macros here. Last but not least, select diary in the bottom left hand corner. You should see macronutrient numbers at the top of all your of your screen and all your meals as you scroll down with your updated meal names. Keep scrolling until you get to um, after your last meal it should have a little box with it says exercise. Across from the word exercise there are three gray little dots. You want to click on those three dots and you want to select manage exercise calories in the pop-up window. Make sure the tab across from where it says increase my daily goal is turned off. So no green. You don't want to see green here. This is because I do not want your macros to change based on the exercise calories burned. Um, your macro numbers do not change based on the calories you're burning. Your macros are your macros. I've never had a coach tell me any otherwise. I've never told my clients any otherwise. That's just how I do things and that's how I believe it should be done. If you have a coach that tells you something differently, then do what they say. I don't know. Not for me. Um, <laughs> this is a super helpful feature of this app, so stay alert. You can scan barcodes of nutrition labels on this app. It's super convenient, super easy. I highly recommend it. So, when you're adding foods to your meals, let's say I'm going to add like an apple to meal one. Go to meal one, add food, um, and then at the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a barcode item. You wanna click that and it'll take you to a video. Like a, you're gonna take a picture. You just put the little square of your phone up against the barcode of the nutrition label and bam that food is inputted into meal one um if you are eating a different amount than the serving size because i believe the serving size is what automatically comes up you can go ahead and select where it says serving size and change the serving size to whatever you want it and then put it that way um but it's super easy than like typing in it every time i love the barcode feature it's great. So since this was like a pretty boring like step-by-step -step tutorial I thought I'd share some little hints for you guys and then answer some questions I've previously gotten about tracking macros in the past. Um, the first one is can I eat out at restaurants while tracking macros and still stay within my goals? Yes, most restaurants have their nutrition info already inputted in my fitness pal. I know it's crazy if you search the restaurant name it's pretty likely that the food will be there. It's great. Um, definitely the chain ones. If you're going to like mom and pop's little restaurant, it might not be in there, but you can still try to track the foods as generic restaurant foods. Um, and once you start tracking macros all the time, you'll kind of like know what, you know, like a cup of something looks like or four ounces of meat usually looks like a deck of cards, I always say. Um, so you'll be able to eyeball it and 
if you're tracking something and still generally like in the same ballpark of your macro numbers when you're going out to eat with like your family and friends on a refeed, it's not going to make or break you. Just do the best you can and just try to track. Um, also, if you're, you know you're going out to eat at a certain restaurant, I always like look at the menu maybe and like put in what I think I'm going to order and then I'll eat my meals around that for, you know, leading up to that for the day. Um, so yeah, it's all about really planning, um, which is the most helpful hint I have for you is, you know, I always say this in my stories, but failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So if you're not, you know, somewhat planning your macros for the next day or, or for the week or whatever have you, um, it's likely you're not going to hit your macro numbers as well as if you were planning to hit your macro numbers. Um, I always input my meals for the day and then sometimes like if I want something different at dinner I'll you know switch some things around and make it work but for the most part I always input my meals. Um, I don't have to like think about what I'm going to eat next it's just already right there for me and it's just super easy. Um, so yeah, I think that is the most helpful tip I could give you, is just preparing, preparing your macros. Um, definitely drink like a gallon of water a day, and this helps for everything, but um, if you're in like a fat loss phase, water does help you feel fuller, so you're not like starving all the time. But, you know, drinking a gallon of water per day, you should do no matter what, I think, at a minimum. Um, the reason I love this lifestyle, as I said before, is because you can still eat the foods you love in moderation and achieve your health and fitness goals. So, with that being said, if there's something I'm craving for that, like, particularly that day, I'll go ahead and put it in my fitness pal for, like, whatever meal I think I'm going to want it, and then I'll input my typical like you know staple foods around it um so i can still hit my macros and satisfy my cravings and achieve my healthy fitness goals um so it really is the best diet it is sustainable lifestyle wise prep wise everything like that um another thing i have a lot of clients like who obviously have busy hectic lifestyles like life is always gets busy sometimes so um, I do recommend you have like rice cakes, protein bars, maybe some protein powder, something like you can grab quick that has like carbs, protein in it, um, in your car, in your gym bag, in your purse, in your locker, like whatever you need to do. If you need to eat, if it's time to eat and you don't have like your meals prepped, at least you have like a protein bar you can go grab and maybe in the next meal if you don't hit whatever macros you had for that goal that meal goal then you can go ahead and like fill them in for the next meal if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up comment below and if you want to inquire about online coaching with me go ahead and visit my webpage it's abfitnesstraining.com or shoot me an email it's alexandrabryant.fit at gmail.com i hope everyone has a great labor day weekend bye you guys i'll see you soon